A new era begins at Leicester City then as interim manager Dean Smith takes charge of his first Foxes game tonight. And it doesn't get much more difficult than this. A trip to the Etihad to take on Manchester City who brushed aside Bayern Munich on Tuesday night in the Champions League winning three goals to nil. And right now City look unstoppable in all competitions but this game tonight is massive in the Premier League. For Leicester, we currently sit 19th in the relegation zone. We're starved of all confidence but tonight the performance could be the most important thing for City. Of course, they're still chasing down league leaders Arsenal. And anything less than three points tonight could be catastrophic for Pep side. My first time going to the Etihad tonight as well. So it should be a good one as we follow Dean Smith's Blue Army for the first time. Let's get up to Manchester and let's see what happens tonight. Come on, let's start. Well then, very early start. It's currently half past seven. We're at the local station. You're going to get the train into Leicester. Meet with the lads and then time some breakfast. Let's go. Breakfast done, on to the buses now, up to Manchester. Kill. Manchester, great. Two drinks in Manchester, up to the Etihad on the bus for the game, about an hour to kick off. Kill the last. Right then, as you can see, we're outside the Etihad. Team is out in a couple of minutes. We'll take a look at that for Dean Smith's first game in charge. Bournemouth are beating Tottenham right now, which is an ideal. A few results going against us. So we need to try and get a win today, but it's going to be impossible, yeah. Let's get in there. Go on. Score predictions, Joe. 3-1 Man City. 4-0 Leicester. 3-0 Leicester. Boom. We're inside the Etihad. As you can see, Sunji back in the line on back three. Vardy up top. Decent team. It's going to be tough, obviously. But I'm going to go with a 1-1 drop. Oh, my God. 
Here you are, checking the penalty. This is probably a given. I did he blocked it, but probably a given, wasn't it? There we go, 2 0 Harden's never in doubt. Able. Able. Go on. Oh! Oh! better by Leicester on the front court. Not on the other side, net him. Come on. Five minutes, dreadful defending again. Can't do Wayne's leaving, don't blame him really. Just shoot. Second half on the way, let's not concede more. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend we scored a goal! Oh! Go! Let me score the goal. Oh! Oh! oh.
And there we go, back from the Etienne. Now, if you said at half time or even about half an hour in, if we lost the game 3 1, I probably would have snapped your hand off for it. But yeah, overall, I think obviously, first 30, 30 minutes, first half, we were pretty poor, dreadful to be fair. The second half, it was far better. Obviously, City, you know, stepped off a little bit. But I think, you know, going forward, Les looked far better in the second half. We created chances and on, on another day, we could have got a few more goals and, and, and then you never know. But obviously, the first 25 minutes is what costed us. Obviously, John Stones with a cracking goal to make it 1-0 hard and then with the penalty, then obviously uh, made it 3-0 with a goal later. He actually, of course, bagging for Leicester. But yeah, frustrating day, but you couldn't really expect too much from the game. Just disappointing how, you know, how early we conceded the goals. And, you know, if we kept in the game a bit longer, even at 1 or 2-0, there will be a, a bit more of a chance we could have got the result there. Yeah, you, you know, decent fighting spirit in the second half. Hopefully that can give us a, a, a slight bit of confidence going into these remaining games. But th there's no shame in losing 3-1 to Man City. We saw Bayern Munich, European Giants go there on, on Tuesday night and lose 3 as well. So there we go. And obviously City made some changes late on. But I think, yeah, I think you can still take, take some good stuff from how Leicester uh, performed in the, in the second half, particularly in the last 20 minutes or so. But yeah, that's it for the vlog. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Next away day is Leeds United, so I'll see you boys there for that one. Obviously, that game is absolutely massive and a much more winnable one than this one. But yeah, I'll see you boys then. Thanks for watching. I'm a sports and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Winnable boys.